All right, what's up guys? So I got another thing in the mail, actually day after the Tyrannus came. It's um, hopefully it'll go into effect on this guy and replace that mess inside there. Let's go ahead and open this up. We have our anti-static bag. So if you can see what that says, it's the DYS F4 Pro Flight Controller. So let's go ahead and open this. So here's pretty much the standard anti-static bag that most things come with. That is some pretty cool packaging. It kind of looks like it's a little plastic box. Let's see what comes with it. So, we get a battery lead here, pigtail thing. It comes with a buzzer. I've never used a buzzer before. I'll probably add one. I have a lot of mounting hardware and you have eight of these little things which are for soft mounting inside the flight controller, which my current one I don't know if you can see that, is still hard mounted. So, see what happens. All right, so let me zoom in here. So this is our flight controller. So, it has, a, it's a flight controller PDB OSD all in one. So this is a definite great option here. Um, you can see the big uh, current meter here. This is for your pads for your battery leads. These are the pads for your ESCs. And these two are for a signal and negative uh, ground wire. So um, like I said, this works with the Betaflight OSD. It is the DYS F4 flight controller PDB and it's soft mounted. Also, what I've heard is that it's covered in conformal coating. I'm not sure about that. Some of them that have come before are, some are not, so I'm not confirmed on that one. But I will let you know down in the description. Here it is. So, uh, some people really like this flight controller. I've been reading a lot on it. There is only one inverted UART port for those of us who use Tyrannus Protocol S-Bus. So it is, I'll flash up the wiring diagram, but I think it's this pin here. Um, it does have a 3 amp 5 volt regulator, so you can run the video transmitter and the camera off that 5 volts. Um, other than that, it's pretty much all in one solution to the flight controller. It's going to go ahead and replace my stack in here so it's only one board on the bottom and then the receiver so I'm looking forward to how, how that fits in I will have a, a wiring up receiver video on how to wire the Tyrannus XSR up to this and you should look forward to that shortly and if you have any questions about this flight controller I think uh, from what I've heard a lot of people really like this so that's why I picked it up and I'm replacing my SP Racing F3 in there. I think it's an SP Racing clone, honestly. So this is about 40 bucks on Amazon. That's where I picked it up. I think it's like 35 on Banggood, but I wanted, you know, prime shipping. So uh, other than that, that's about it for now. I will report back when I know more. Thanks for watching.